G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. Today we are going to look at cleaning your coil and getting rid of all the dirt from underneath the skid plate. Now here's one we have prepared earlier and you can see it's a bit filthy. Now we did do this because we knew that we were getting this segment up and running, so that's why it looks so absolutely filthy. But what we're gonna do is we will take the skid plate off, clean all underneath it. And the reason you want to do that, especially around this time, we've been out detecting, it's been wet, there's been water get in, there's dirt gets in. And what that can set up is a mineralized uh, situation where you might actually just start to get some falsing coming through. So just uh, normal maintenance of your machine, taking the coil off, cleaning it, putting it all back on together will stop this situation from happening. So without further ado, let's take the coil, uh, the skid plate off the coil and see what's there and give it a bloody good clean. Well, because we're working on the bench here, I've put a bit of newspaper down, I've got me a cloth to clean everything off with, and realistically, taking the coils off is pretty easy to do. Just gently start to peel them. Ooh, this one's, it's a bit filthy, but we will, I'm trying to catch it all so that we can actually see how much muck Dave and I have managed to put underneath this thing. I'm just taking it off gently so it doesn't fly everywhere. There we go. You can see there, especially around the nose, we've had a lot of dirt build up. And you can really see, if we have a look there, look at all that. Now if that all gets wet, as, actually, as that has there, it's not in your best interest when you're detecting. So, we've taken it apart now. All I'm gonna do, Let's just get my, my cloth, run it through all those. Just get rid of all that excess dirt and grot. And this doesn't you know, take very long at all. You could do it outside with a cuppa. You have some bickies if you wanted, but just make sure you don't get all the crunchy bits from the soil. There we go. There's our skid plate clean. Now, I am going to give the coil a bit of a brush up so that all the dirt there's not there anymore. It doesn't take very long, just get your finger in there, get rid of all the old grass, all the old dirt in all the spokes. You can do it a bit better if you wished. Uh, you know, warm water is always good to use. I'll turn that over now especially around where that was. You can see it's not taking very long at all. Rightio, there's that. Now, especially with, uh, this is the six inch coil on the 900, the skid plate is only going to go on one way. So we'll just put that on. And again, reverse procedure, just sort of work from one end and make sure she all clips in nicely. You will get more dirt in there over time, but yeah, again, just take it off every now and then, give it a clean out, and it should stop all the uh, falsing that you may well get. So there we are, periodically taking your skid plate off so you can get rid of all the dirt and grime and moisture from underneath your skid plate to stop any uh, falsings and so forth happening with the coil. Anyway, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and that's been a top tip for the Mind Lab Show. Mm -hmm.